I've gotten older, I can't hold my pee as well. Like I dance no. a lot more than I used to. It's like I used to be able to be like, oh, I can hold it, and not, no big deal. Now I'm like holding it, and I'm like, oh, I'm dancing. Oh, really there's weird. no threshold anymore, dude. You gotta go when you gotta go, or else. Once you break the seal, it. though, you can hold it for a long time. But you know, if you're drinking beer, oh, then, you break the seal, it's over because you can go like. 10 drinks without going to the bathroom and then it's like, oh no. And then it's every other drink. It's like, okay, I got to go pee. I got to go pee. <laughs> Would I you say you have that. a peeing problem? I don't D- think okay. he's got, he's got no problem peeing at all. <laughs> oh, Question. Wow. Now, okay. Mark, <laughs> See, how many right times there. a night do you guys wake up to pee? Uh, twice. <sighs> usually every night, man. All right. So I don't, I don't ever, uh, usually I don't wake up, but on tour, he just because goes. you'll just be, you'll be dead asleep and we're, you know, and then sometimes you'll hit some rough patches on the road. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, if you've never been on a tour bus before, there is nothing quite like waking up at maybe 3.45, 4.30 in the morning, maybe a little bit drunk, a little bit buzzed, and you're trying to find your way out of a bunk onto a bus that's moving at 85 miles an hour and try to get it into the toilet. It's like the most. That's why ridiculous you sit down. I was going to question. That was you. my next question. You I don't, don't sit down, down on a train. Thanks a lot for not sitting down because that's you then when I get there in the morning and it's just everywhere. I'm like, who didn't sit down the middle no, I have, of the night? I have precision aim. I lean all the way. Okay, so now you're good at it. See, now I'm confused. What's the narrative? I didn't say that I wasn't good at it. I just said it's very difficult. Who one time, one sit time, down? Uh, Mark didn't lock the bus bathroom door and that. I walked in there and he was doing a handstand and peeing. It's very that strange. It was impressive. Lunchbox, it was amazing. I, I mean, cool. I always just aim for the one in the middle. And when you have to put your hands on the wall, that means you've had enough to drink. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird existence. I mean, just you know, just the fact that we have to do that on a regular basis. You know, it's basically like tr- going to the bathroom on an airplane when they, the seatbelt signs go up and you hit turbulence. You know what I mean? Which, which has, has also happened. happened to me before. Yeah. Which is oh, that's bad news. That's gnarly. But that's at least okay because at least on the plane they don't know who it is. There's a bunch of other people. That oh, everybody. Been. It's like unless you guys are flying private, big ballers. Not that definitely wanna, not. Definitely not doing that. We're in Southwest. Yeah. We're in uh, A-list preferred. Oh, now, you are A-list nice. preferred. Yeah. So okay. who's your who's your companion pass? My wife. Okay. Yeah, she gets that one. And also, we all have very like preferred seats on the. Fl- Mine's always seven A on the old planes. Yeah, like if I if I win sat on that before ones. Cameron, it would start a fight. What, what, is, what is it about 7A? I'll tell you why. Because on the old Southwest planes, you've, 7A has got a window, but there's a space in the bulkhead that you can lean your head on. It's a nice piece of wall. And that you're not sitting on, on a window or between windows. It's a really good spot. That's I know exactly I like. the spot you're talking about. Yeah. Because the window is a little bit up on the front of it. Because that's yes. what I like to sit on because yeah. it's a perfect, it's just a solid wall. Yeah. And you can fit your whole head you and can put your head on. against it. I love it. I sleep on planes. Uh, like any doesn't any time of day, I'll fall asleep on a plane. You so have that's to. important to me. I sleep on a plane. I, I, I'm not even tired. I get on a plane, yeah. I'm automatically tired, and I fall asleep in me two too. seconds. It is so awesome. Before well, the plane even backs uh, out, that's a blessing, I'm out. my friend. And, and I wake up on the, we're making our final descent into Las Vegas. Oh, all I'm You're worried like about Vegas. I thought I was going to Omaha. <laughs> I, I still feel like we're uh, we're still a lot of people are just wondering who the hell these guys are that just walked in and you know dressed like we are wearing cowboy hats and stuff. But oh, most did we people not don't say know. It's Midland? Did I not say that? We're well, no, Midland? I'm just saying when we get on the airplanes, it's not oh, like everybody's oh. freaking out. Like everybody's not like, oh my god, there's Midland. You know, so it's more like we're, we're you're still, in my seat. Yeah, we're still you know <laughs> uh, there's a, a mystery, and I I know that someday there's going to be footage of me because I don't know. I want to invent something that holds your mouth closed on an airplane because you know when you wake up and your mouth is just oh like yeah. this air, and you know that you've mouth. just been snoring and drooling and your mouth is open and so, one of your bandmates has definitely been recording you like this oh, oh yeah. yeah everybody thinks they're funny because they that, take a picture yeah. with it's your really mouth funny. Well, it's open, not funny it's, it's so not freaking funny, funny it's man it's stupid <laughs> like guys we all do it just let so me get my sleep in peace. i'm almost thing, down to take a bandana and start doing like the little bonnet that's well let me let me tell you to hold your mouth closed just sit in the window seat, and then no one could see you. You well, have to sit in the aisle. One, some jerk wasn't taking all the window seats uh, up. You know? I take them all, baby. That's okay. <laughs> I, I sat a middle seat on the flight over here. Why? On the, on Why would you ever sit middle? Welcome to Midland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are still flying coach. We are no, flying I get it, but middle you, seats. You sit by each other. I on asked. The I, I, that didn't one we did. I, I asked our travel agent the same exact freaking question. It you know what I had happen to me the other day is I'm on the plane and I sit window and my wife for some dumb reason decides she wants to sit behind me and get a window instead of sitting middle. So I get this old dude that sits next to me. 
And then he watches my, I'm watching a movie, <laughs> and he watches my screen. Dude, he doesn't even I, have headphones. Oh, my and God. I was that's like, unexcusable. I'm so it guilty so of that. It was so awkward. I, almost, I couldn't enjoy the movie because he's just watching it, and I'm like. So on domestic flights, I'm wow. always like, I'm not going to watch TV. I'm going to sleep. So I'll be that guy, and I'll just be like, I'll be asleep, but I can't sleep yet. And then the guy next to me is watching and I always watch. Like I'm that guy. You like to watch. Was, Mark's I do like that. To I'm watch. always it leaning over. One of those TVs in the back. And he's got the headphones on. I'm like, what's happening? You, you look behind you, and the two You're guys like, throw behind the, you uh, are also watching over, over your seats. seats. Throw the captions so, on. For this me. is so exciting, isn't it? And he's like, what the? Fuck? No, yeah, I, I fell asleep, and I guess I had turned on Seinfeld on my iPad because I'm on Southwest, and I wake up, and he's got his hand in his, you know, his <laughs> chin in his hand, and he's watching he's Seinfeld, and I'm like, dude, you can't even hear what's going on. Like, are you just inventing it in your head? It was so awkward. He goes, I know this Seinfeld episode. Seinfeld with the sound off, it's riveting. <laughs> no, I have never, it's, I don't it's ever. so good with the sound off. TV off. Set it to classical when, music. That's yeah. so weird. And one thing, Midland, I want to know, Mark, how do you decide, best man, are these two both in your wedding? Have you decided? Oh, he, that's easy. He has a twin brother. Yeah, he's going to be his I, best I, man. Yeah, I got very lucky in that one. I got a twin brother, and he's, he's going to be more, my best man. But if they're both groomsmen, who stands in front of who? Like, because groomsmen's well, order is. It's how long you know people. That's how it goes. Okay. I mean. Unfortunately. I got know, just beat Jess by about two Jess and Cam are definitely going to be. Uh, they're going to be in the wedding, and uh, they're he also going to be my opening act. Pitched us to be the ring bearers, which I thought that was really nice. <laughs> I think it's cute. But I he, think it would be cute. He wanted Cameron to walk on all fours with this weird thing where it held the ring on his back. Okay. Up, and then, but the also with the spike collar, and Jess was walking. I don't that, know why. That's, well, that's what I'm what I'm going to start doing actually is I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm just going to start asking. Um, so. Here it is. Garth Brooks, would you <laughs> please play my wedding at my family's ranch next August? There's nothing wrong with that, buddy. Is that a big deal? I mean, come on, man. I mean, uh, well, worst Look, you can say is okay, no. All you got to do if is Garth a Brooks two and a half hour set. <laughs> Just play the hits, man. Even you can play some covers. I don't care. It's fine, man. And so I'm just going to start asking everybody. How Seriously, I'm serious, Garth. How, how can we get a hold yeah, of you? How can Garth, if he's listening, how can uh, you Garth, he, <laughs> he obviously doesn't have my number, but. Uh, <laughs> Okay, and if Garth can't go, who's your second choice? George, straight. <laughs> George, I don't know what you're doing next August uh, 2020, but I'm going to be getting married, and I'd like to ask you to be the house band. Two and a half hours, just, just play the hits. Just a two and a half hours set, just play the hits. You can even play a couple covers, maybe a Midland cover. You know what, I mean? <laughs> what an honor, George. What an honor, <laughs> What George. an honor to be asked that. That's incredible. All right, Midland, thanks for stopping by. That was a lot of fun. Go okay, wait, one more. Good Charlotte, if you're around <laughs> next August. 311, we'll take you. <laughs>